So in this video we're going to talk about what you do when your navigation system locks up. Now personally I've had my navigation system lock up on me several times and I found out it was actually from a failed software update that was causing the issue. What will happen is you have your little logo here, your little icon, and it won't move. <clears throat> so what will happen is it will lock in place and even though it will say it's navigating you might be a hundred miles away and it's going to say that you're still in the same location. Now the way to uh, fix that, there's a couple things you can do. The first and simplest is you're going to do the system reboot like we showed in the other video where you're basically going to put your finger on this scroll wheel and this scroll wheel and you're going to hold them down and it's going to reboot the system. So I'm going to try to do that here. I hold the video. It's going to be a little challenging. Bear with me. All right, so I just depressed them for about five seconds, and you can see that the screen went blank, and um, then it's going to come up with the Tesla symbol, and it's going to do a soft reboot. Now, that's the first thing to do if your navigation system locks. The second thing to do is to do a hard reboot where the vehicle is actually parked, um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute once it um, starts back up here. Um, the other way that you can uh, fire that back by that fire that up, that screen up, is by uh, depressing the brake pedal um, down below. So if that doesn't work, the next step is to call Tesla. Um, you call their customer service line and they'll actually reset your navigation uh, GPS unit. It takes about 15 minutes for it to take effect, um, but that solved the problem for me a few times um, and, and basically resolved the issue. But down under controls, you can go to where it says e-brake and power off. It'll say, are you sure you want to turn the power off? Place your foot on the brake to power back on. We'll say yes. And the same type of thing is going to happen. Uh, the whole vehicle is going to go black. Now, you can't power it off that way while you're driving. You can do a soft reboot while driving, uh, but not a hard one. So I gave it a, <clears throat> I'm going to give it about 30 seconds, and then I'll press the brake, and it'll fire back up, and that should solve the issue. Worst case, call customer service again and have them actually update it in their system. Um, that seems to be the best way to go. If that doesn't work, then you might have something wrong with your GPS unit. Um, there's been cases where the vehicles, some of the vehicles have had faulty GPS uh, receivers and then it's a hardware issue and you actually are going to have to take it in to get fixed. So if you do have any navigation issues, those are your options for uh, trying to resolve it and uh, hopefully it's a simple one that will fix itself for you. Um, thanks for watching.